yo, yo, what's good, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Girl with Mike, thank you guys for checking in back into my YouTube channel, really appreciate you guys, really appreciate you guys showing all the love, giving me these views and likes and comments, man, let's get it going, but today we got a special episode, we got a San Francisco burger hunt, the only spot that I've actually been to is Veeps, all the other spots are my first time, so it's going to be very exciting. What's good, what's good, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Girl with Mike, we back here on my Girl with Mike YouTube channel, today we got a special episode because I always wanted to do these burger joints in uh, the city, my burger joints, I really like classic diner, straight to the point, no frills, no thrills type of burger, I like something that's just, that's just good, you know what I'm saying, you, you can always go there and just rely on a good ass burger, and uh, my first spot that I'm going to today, is a beef burger beef burger is probably a spot that i've been going to since probably 2010 when i was going to city college and you know city college is right around the corner and uh i always used to go here and get the uh double or the half pound burger uh with bacon no lettuce and i would always get the garlic fries with the orange beef sauce you know what i'm saying you gotta they they, they know for the beef sauce right here going crazy but yeah let's get straight to it man we got ourselves a, a quarter pound cheeseburger, no tomatoes, because I don't fuck with tomatoes. Nice soft bun. Got lettuce in here. Got the, the beef sauce on there. Got American cheese. Nice beef patty on there. Uh, we're going to go straight forward. Let's get it. Mm hmm. Every time. There's a very consistent here. The beef patty is always hella juicy. It's, it's nowhere near dry. Um, it's just a good, great burger. You know what I'm saying? The cheese is nicely melted. Sauce is applied on both sides of the bun, not just one. I can't complain. Like, their burger is just a really great burger. The lettuce adds a nice little crunch to it, a little bit of freshness. You always gotta get the beef sauce, 100%. That's what make this burger smack. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to describe the beef sauce. It's like a little sweet, a hint of tanginess. Uh, let me try it again, hold on. Um. It's just fucking smacking, man. Beef burger, man. The bun on the inside, where I'm pretty sure where they grill it at, has a nice little crispy edge to it, but it's not hella toasty. It's not a hard piece of bread. It's actually very soft. The lettuce is very fresh. Gives it a nice crisp to it. The cheese, American cheese, is straight melted on there. Very good. It's a very well, overall, I said overall, <laughs> overall balanced burger, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you got to you gotta try to look at these junk, jumbo chunks of these onion rings, though. Going crazy. But yeah, I'm about to pour some of that on this bitch. Mm-hmm. The breading on here is delicious. Nice golden brown. You get a crisp of every every bite, and the onion is, is nice and perfectly cooked. It doesn't like fully come out, you know what I'm saying? You can bite down with every bite and get a piece of onion. Some onion rings you bite into it, and the whole onion comes off, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Beast Burger. They also here at Beast Burger, 
which I didn't get because it's not, you know, part of the episode, but their chicken tenders is smacking. Their chicken strips are fucking amazing, bro. The chicken is on lock here. It's hella juicy, hella tender. It got a nice crisp to it. And with the orange sauce, you can't go wrong, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the orange sauce is going crazy. Spot number one, we're going on spot number two in the sunset in a Richmond. We're going to Uncle Boys, man. Let's get it. back here it's location number two man we have uncle boys man it's over here in the sunset we got ourselves the el jefe oh you see that cheese pool yo so from just smelling the aroma of this like you could hella smell the burger you could hella smell the char on it and i love that you feel me it's like like smoky I don't know, it just has like a good beefy char smell and I like that aroma. And I got the El Jefe, I didn't want to get an original one just cause I'm probably gonna get a lot of original burgers today but I wanted to try something different. This has bacon, this has a spicy sauce on it, got lettuce, got a uh, pepper jack cheese on here. This is my first time here at Uncle Boy's man, so let's see what it do. They know what they're doing over here. First bite, too. It's the smokiness and char from the burger that's giving this everything that it needs. You know, the spicy, spicy sauce in here is really good. It's not hella spicy. It has a nice, like, slight kick to it. The lettuce, the bacon on there adds a nice little crunch to it nice and crispy pepper jack cheese is a nice touch to it the bun is very soft very very soft kind of thick but the the char i'm telling you the char and smokiness of this burger is is insane mm -hmm. every bite wow uncle boy shout out to y'all they're here in the um in the sunset or this could be in enrichment i forgot Inner sunset, wherever. Mm hmm. Shout out to Uncle Boys, man. This burger has no frills, no. It's just straight to the point. It hits you in the face with that char smokiness, which is probably the best thing you could do for any kind of meat. Just have it like naturally smoked, naturally charred, naturally. Ooh, the aroma and taste on here is crazy. I'm definitely coming back here to Uncle Boys. I heard they sell lumpias too. So we're gonna give that a try. You can also add egg and avocado on here, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna do that on the next one. I'm gonna come back here and double back. Uncle Boys, man. Fire. Thank you, I'm doing like a, a 
city. And I've never had you guys before. here third stop of the day for the burger joints in the city we went to the butcher shop uh, I'm probably saying that wrong hold up Let's say that. yeah butcher shop by Nico you know what I'm saying um, I met guy who's the owner of it um, real good guy real welcoming even the guys the chefs the the one that rang me up, everybody there was just very welcoming, great hospitality. I love that. It made me feel like I, I was my business there was appreciated, and not even that. It just feels like that's what they do. It felt very genuine. Um, so what I got today was I got their fries with this crazy sauce on it, and they cook it in wagyu fat. They fry it in wagyu fat. So I'm gonna just stop talking, and just give it a try. this shit down because I'm going to fuck this up. This is fucking good as hell. Fries are soggy, crispy. Like, some are soggy, some are crispy. But it just has a crazy flavor. And I'm about to go back and ask what exactly they put on top of this G thing right here. Yo, what the fuck? This sauce. Whoa. I'm going to put that down. Now we're gonna get to this G thing. This is the Wagyu burger. They got it two ways. Ooh, look at the juices just dripping on that motherfucker. They do it two ways, they said. They do a smash burger version and they do it the butcher version, which is this. They cook it medium rare. It's got pickles, tomatoes, lettuce. Looks like butter leaf lettuce. I don't do the tomatoes, so I'm gonna just take the tomato out. Keep the pickle in there, keep that in there. We're gonna give it a bite, we're gonna give it a go. Let's see what it do. Wow. Speechless. Let me give it a second bite. flavor is all there you could definitely tell damn the juices look at that the juice is just spilling all over me definitely cooked medium rare a little bit of pink on there but that's how you're supposed to cook wagyu you're not supposed to cook that shit all the way or you're just fucking the whole meat up um very very flavorful it does have a smokiness to it has like a little buttery feel and that that sauce i think it's the same sauce they put on the fries is amazing mm. Turn around. look at the juice is dripping this is an amazing burger
this right here, top notch. It's $20, but it was well worth it. And them fries, boy, them fries are something else. These things, look at this. Good Lord. Ridiculous. I'm about to put this away. I gotta go to another spot. But yo, the butcher shop by Nico. Y'all know exactly what the hell y'all doing. You guys are um, keeping the quality of food, keeping the quality of service, and keeping the quality of hospitality, which holds you guys' name up at a very high standard. And, uh, Continue to do this, man, because I, I appreciate anybody and anybody in the industry, the food industry, that takes their craft that serious. Like, the moment I stepped to the front door, they greeted me. They said, I'll be right with you. Then they attended to me. They knew it was my first time. They explained to me what was what. He even seen that I was doing the blog. He let me record, which is very dope. He let me record the burger being made. And he gave me a little bit of info on... Um, on the like their good company which is very dope so i really appreciate that shout out to guys shout out to everyone there um yeah the butcher shop wagyu burger fire i ain't supposed to be drinking coke man but i need a coke for that good what it do what it do man we back here man we had the last stop today at a burger tour in san francisco we're here at sam's it's originally called sam's pizzas and burgers because they used to sell everything else here but um you know what i'm saying they says right here on the sign it's been here since 1966 so this is a, a definitely a legendary spot i uh, first heard about this spot on the anthony bourdain episode uh, he came here he got his own burger here which i believe is a double cheeseburger with fries um so we're basically here i've never tried this spot but i heard it's very good got a lot of good yelp reviews seen it all over instagram youtube and whatnot so today i just got a regular cheeseburger single patty lettuce onions uh mayonnaise mustard ketchup actually there's no mayonnaise in here i'm lying got american cheese on here and we're right here on broadway man it's crazy to be here during the day because i don't be coming here during the day i used to come here when i was young at nighttime and go to uh was it bud's burger no nah, it wasn't buds it was uh buster's burger right around the corner man I used to have that shit at like two in the morning but yeah i'm about to go for this right now let's see what it do it's a good old-fashioned burger man Just like all the other spots, no frills. This is what you call a classic diner local burger. It's some that you could get probably in your city. Or just a regular burger. Just plain, simple, good. And it has everything that you need. All right, y'all, my bad. I had to cut that audio out. That audio was a no-no. That thing was terrible, man. All the wind was getting picked up. I guess the mic that I got it's not good enough in the wind um it's definitely not wind resistant so definitely gonna have to get a new mic my bad job but basically sam's is a good spot it's a definitely legendary spot you know it's co-signed by the late and great anthony bourdain rest in peace his soul um it's a good spot good plain simple classic diner burger no frills no thrills straight to the point straightforward um it's like a classic burger that i feel like you could get in damn near any town 
Um, it's not a bad burger by me saying that either. It's actually a very good burger. Um, but shout out to Sam's man. And thank you guys for coming to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys. You guys showed me a lot of love. And I'm going to continue these blogs and continue to keep going with these, man. So like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. You heard me. Yee! Grow with Mike's Burger Hunt Part 1. Let's get it.